to go and I'm thinking of having peanut butter bread for breakfast. Yesterday was like a shit show. I started feeling very ill yesterday afternoon. And I asked Courtney if he wants to make the food. He can either buy something or you can make the curry that I was like going to make last night. So he's like, oh no, you'll do it. Mind you, could have never made curry before. Then he got home and I was like, okay, cool. I'm not going to ask him to make the curry because I'm going to have to physically stay here. And I just wasn't feeling well. I was like laying in bed. And so I said, okay, make pasta. And then just make like a chicken concoction. I just asked him to like raise onion, put some like pepper, peppers in uh, the chicken and then like Worcester sauce. So this is like some sauce at the bottom. I was like, that's quick easy for Courtney. Guys, I'm gonna put a picture up for you. What happened? I'm on my phone in the bedroom and I just hear things fall on the floor and it's just like, shit. If you know me, I will like go on. Like it's just in my nature to just like go on. I know it's like something small, but I was just like, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not feeling well. And I, like when I go on with him, it's so funny. He was saying that like, if, if you were here, you would have told me like how expensive the pasta is. Like why didn't I, because what he did was he didn't open the pasta with a scissor because I know how tricky the bag is. So he just opened it and Everything fell out. Today I hoping to feel a little bit better. Um, there was just we have just so much work and it's only Tuesday. So I what I've done now in the morning to give you an idea is that I wake up at almost five. In the past I used to wake up at five o'clock and follow the five a.m. method, but that book does say that you can like adjusted to how you feel so I woke up at half or slide rather and instead of exercise because I'm lazy like that and I think I will get there and I want to force myself I probably just want to find another exercise alternative rather than me staring at a laptop and doing a workout because I just wasn't great um, so what I do is I journal in the morning and sometimes I just sit with my thoughts I think in the morning when the sun is still busy rising, just go to just zone out for a bit. And also it's my time, it's my alone time. And even though I am at home by myself working, work is taking up majority of my day's time. So I don't have a moment just to myself, just with my thoughts. That's why that's the reason why I wake up at up five. I journal and then I go through the stuff that I need to go through for the day. And um, sometimes I watch a YouTube video, like I watched two YouTube videos this morning, but something that is, YouTube videos that is productive in a way. So this morning I watched like five habits to change, five habit thoughts to change in 2020, 2021. And then I watched a book vlogger, a, disappoint, a disappointing reads for 2020. I just thought it was a fun thing and then I read for a little bit so that's kind of my time to myself and you do hear that you really need that time where you are just alone where there's no like significant other or other people and your messages are not going off it's just you yourself and your thoughts you need that for yourself honestly <laughs> This is what I had for breakfast. Popcorn. I mean, that's the life of someone who is working from home. But I feel like, and I don't get me wrong, like I enjoy being at home, not having to travel and stuff. Like my office is next door. The only thing I miss conversation. I genuinely miss people's conversation. And yeah, we have our meetings, like a daily check-in 
every morning like we just said oh now nah, it was nice to laugh and stuff i think i just miss like we used to sit be, like around our boards during lunchtime and just talk about the most random stuff ever and it's so funny i caught the ghost to to work he physically goes to his place of work and he'll come home and he'll say like i'll ask him how his day was and he can tell me all of like the stuff that people do you will ask me now so it's fine like usually when i used to come up i would tell him about all like the gossip maybe or like what interesting happened at work who's fighting with who i don't have that i literally don't have it i miss that it's kind of sad that you know that aspect of life is gone i don't know i don't know for anyone who has gone from working in an office to now permanently working from home what are your thoughts like how do you feel about it i know for the most part i enjoy being at home because i get to finish off a lot of stuff that i usually never got done and i'm a little less stressed and i get way much more done don't get me wrong but that human interaction I genuinely miss. I have a little bit of a headache this morning and this is the look I'm going for. My hair is actually really dirty. I was going to wash it yesterday but did I? No. So my plan is to wash this hair tomorrow because it is dirty now. It's almost 11 o'clock and I'm really eating chopsticks. This is my absolute favorite thing. Let me tell you, I'm probably the only one at this barbie shop on the corner that buys these because every time Courtney goes, it's like, he's literally the only one who takes these. And I'm so obsessed. It's just such a pity that it's so little. I don't understand why it's so little. So, if you take the packet out, look how much space is left. I just feel like the sticks are too little. But every time I buy two and it's like, I have a problem. I literally have a problem. These are, I'm obsessed with it. I'm super obsessed with it. I have a meeting now in like three minutes. What I've done today was do a little bit of work, stay at the, at the laptop, eat popcorn for breakfast. Um, I took up some coffee. I'm having this. Mm -hmm. Look at the smoke. That's the okay. care. Look at that. What is that? It looks like fungus. Like in a way, that's what it looks like. So Courtney made me coffee last night. And I was like, this coffee doesn't look right. And even you was like, it doesn't look right. So I was like, oh, maybe it's like, you know, sometimes you get that thick cream on the top. I was like, okay, cool. But then I looked at it and I was like, no, man, this doesn't look right. Anyway, so I left the coffee. And then this morning I'm making coffee again. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to use the carton of milk that's already open. I'll open a new one. And the same thing happened. So, um, <laughs> with his cousin it works for checkers. So we said, listen, we still have all six. We opened two, but we don't have to slip. Um, can we go back? So apparently he said that there is an issue with milk. So... At least we have that as evidence. We are quickly gonna go, maybe just to need, which is right over here, and just go get coffee because I can't start my day without a good cup of coffee. And it's also a little bit of a outing for Courtney and I before I start work at time. So if he just gets out of bed so that I can make it back in time, that would be ideal. I hope he's hearing me. Are you hearing me? So I just threw this this top I look like a, a hippie but you know what a good hippie it's fine like just with my shoes it's a vibe so I want to get back because Courtney has to go cut his hair he I also have to go to the office because I have to drop some books off I do need to go to the small do I have to go to the mall? No, I don't feel like it today. Do you want to take me tomorrow or today, Pops? I literally just have to buy a 16 pack of chicken. Totally but if we're taking the milk bag, I might as well just. Exactly. So we're going to do it later. No, no. We're going to everything now. Oh, okay, no, later. Oh, we're going to go get coffee now. Yes, we need coffee now. So, come, 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 come.
We wanted to go to need, but they are closed. So we're going to Port Lego. Got ourselves cappuccino and uh, got sucked into croissants. And Courtney got a blueberry muffin. So yeah, <laughs> cappuccino, a pecan and chocolate croissant, and a chocolate croissant. Ish vibe. I don't know what this is. <sighs> Yummy. <gasps> Andrew is growing a new leaf. Look at this. I didn't think it was possible. Even Courtney was shocked. It's like, it's growing because it was not doing anything. <gasps> Here's another one. Oh my word. I am so happy. You can totally see I'm a plant mom. Like, that makes me so happy. <laughs> this is the first plant that I had since moving to this apartment. And it's just thriving. Thriving in three years. I mean, that's long, guys. It's super long. But I just came from a virtual baby shower. Like, that's the first time I've had one. We've had drive by baby showers, but not a virtual one. And it's one of our colleagues. So, I mean, quite all to a drive by. So, that was interesting. And I just found it. I don't know, it just wasn't the same, and I know things are not going to be the same, but it was weird. Also, I went to the office yesterday, and I picked up my little thing. It's like a money box, but I didn't think it was going to come out like that. But you know what? I still think it's cute, and it's like a little money box from the Clay Cafe. So I just put it here because... <laughs> I need to put flowers over here, but that's not a priority right now. Courtney went to go and wash, wash his hair. Courtney <laughs> went to go, go cut his hair, but I am starving right now. So I'm going to have some of Courtney's butter chicken that he made. He's getting quite good at sticking to this two-day week thing because... I just actually refuse to. Look how much rice this is. And also, I'm just not feeling too well today. Got my mate, so just feeling a bit bad. Um, and I was eating flings the whole time. <laughs> flings and chocolate. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna make this butter chicken. And then, oh, I also wanted to show you quickly. I finished this book last night. It's literally like a 500 page book and I did I think about 150 pages last night always towards the end of the book it's like the most gripping thing and so of course I have to read everything but what a riveting book and I understand it's praises and it's rave because ah it was a stunning stunning book loved it from the get-go till the end so of course I got a new book which is breathless. I mentioned it before. I think I bought it last year, Black Friday ish. And it is the same author as Author Black Places. There's actually a movie on Netflix about it. So, yeah, I actually read the book about five years ago. I did it. That's all I have. But so, this is my next read. Very, very excited about it. When he brought treats, that is Custard Danish. What is it called? What is that? Cocktail, yeah, cocktail Danish, Danish, yeah, and some chocolate donuts because y'all know I need to have my cravings. It's the start of a day when that washing machine is going off. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that I need to do and I like making a list. I think if, if you've watched my vlog so long, I always make a list so that I know I'm on top of stuff. So we are washing our couch covers. As you can see, they are bare. 
because they haven't been washed in such a long time. And I mean, we sit on here every single day, so it just makes sense. Those covers you can't actually take off, which is bizarre. It's like stitched in the middle here, yeah? but you can take these off. So I'm having that spinned in the washing machine. Look at this Papa Bites Courtney bought me. So excited. Also, I have to go fetch my cook sisters in an hour. I'm stupid. I told the lady, no, I can't fetch it at all past 10. And I'm like, I wake up at all past 6. Why would I tell this lady? All past 10, but it's fine. So I'm very excited for Kid Sisters Hunter. Eh? My cook sisters got delivered. And they are warm. <sighs> oh, let me taste one. I got gone. I got to take one. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I can see Courtney and I. I don't think we're going if you said that. Oh, so good, so good, so good. <laughs> And this time I'll actually put a picture up here because I've noticed, like, with my vlogs. <coughs> I'm sorry. I always say, Oh, I'm gonna put the video here. Oh, I'm gonna put a picture here. And I never do. So I'm genuinely gonna put a picture here. Today I'm not gonna do much Mondays or Mondays. Then I have to tell you guys that. But yesterday, Courtney came home. I was enjoying such a lot of my jazz songs. I am a old soul. Like, the, the music that you'll find on my playlist is jazz and the blues, like those are my types of day. I can't, I, I do enjoy like gum and um, like all oh, the new r and and stuff that's out, but also, also, so that's me. So I was listening to all of it because I didn't get, I don't always get a chance to, because he always takes over and he plays his music. So it was just me, I had a glass of wine and enjoyed my songs yesterday so yeah it's the start of a new week thank you guys so, guys so much for watching my vlogs and for supporting this channel and i'll see you in my next vlog maybe it's a little bit more exciting i don't know bye <laughs>